Thanks to the latest bug going around, or as we should all be calling it, Xi Jinping Super Spectacular Oopsie Daisies, you need to quarantine yourself in your home and your only source of food is overpriced Uber Eats. But did you know you can make a nice hearty baked potato stew with ingredients you might already have? If you don't have any of the ingredients I'm about to show you, well, just download any grocery delivery app. Trust me, you ain't gonna wanna miss this. To begin, grab yourself a six quart saucepan. Set it over medium heat, toss in four tablespoons of butter. Okay, once the butter has fully melted, let's add in our spices. One teaspoon of onion powder, or granulated onion, doesn't matter. One teaspoon granulated garlic. One teaspoon paprika. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And one tablespoon of chicken base. And add four tablespoons. And add four tablespoons of flour. Okay, reduce the heat to low and add eight cups of milk. Now, you might have noticed I didn't add any salt. That's because there's plenty of salt in chicken base. If we do need to add more salt, we'll do it later in the cooking process. Anyway, bring this to a boil over high heat. All right, it came to a boil, and yes, our soup is a bit on the uh, thin side. Don't worry, because we're gonna use the natural power of the potato to thicken it up. Add two pounds of russet potatoes diced. Bring this to a boil. Reduce the heat to medium low, and let the potatoes cook for 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, it's been 15 minutes, and the starch from the potatoes turned the consistency a little bit more soup-like. But wait, it gets better. Let's add one pound of cooked bacon, chopped into little strips and half a cup of diced green onions. All right, let's give it a quick taste test. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely needs salt. Now, you could serve this up in a regular bowl or serve it in a bread bowl. Let me show you how to make it. Now, to make your bread bowl, you're gonna need a nice, round, circular-ish loaf of bread. Now you can either buy one, or even better, watch my overnight sourdough tutorial. Ah, oh boy, it's one of my first videos and it's still chugging along to this day. Okay, enough nostalgia, let's get to cutting. Grab yourself a bread knife, and at an angle, cut a circular hole in the top of the bread. Now hollow out the bread loaf by just simply going in and just ripping out as much of the inside as you can. Oh, this is important. Leave half an inch worth of bread. That way the bread won't liquefy while you're trying to enjoy your soup. Top this off with a few squirts of hot sauce and dig right in. And now you know how to make baked potato soup, or at least a much flavorful version of baked potato soup, unlike the stuff they pre-make at the grocery store. <laughs> and you know what, my mouth is watering a lot. I'm gonna end the episode right here. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. 
And ladies and gentlemen, here's the biggest twist of the episode. There was never any food in here. <laughs>